If you were going to give another screenwriter a pep talk, let's say they were coming to Story Expo 2015, and maybe they were nervous. We heard from a couple of people that there were some people that were nervous. Right. What would your pep talk be to that screenwriter? Don't be nervous. Okay. Um, it's, uh, it, first of all, it doesn't serve anything. Uh, maybe it does. It helps you prepare. Maybe, oh, I'm nervous. I better prepare. So you prepare. But you can prepare without being nervous. So nervous has nothing to do with it. Um, uh, but um, I find that I've always been right, artistically. Maybe not among other people, but artistically, I've always been right. Maybe I didn't have enough chops, so keep writing or keep drawing. Or, you know, I, I paint also, but but keep keep doing it and always try to be better and always try to do your best. But don't listen to other people. Uh, well, I guess you can listen, but you don't have to do what they say, uh, and that's I guess the difference. You know, listen. I've always been right, and I found out every other person has always been right who's been successful. Successful people are right, a priori. One of the great things about, uh, about pitching uh, my rehearsal back at home was I said, okay, what's the core of the clown? What's the core of the clown? And then I had to go, well, what's the core of Chaplin? What's the core of any clown? No doubt. Clowns have no doubt. That's why they're funny. I mean, they, they hit a challenge and they, they hit a wall, they get stopped. But they don't, they don't, Chaplin, once he's stopped, just goes in another direction, but he doesn't back up and go, oh God. You know, they, they, they get over, they get over, they don't get over it, they get over it. Keep going forward. I remember Tarantino said some of the most brilliant thing, you know, the director. He said, well, how, you know, how do you just keep going? He says, I think of myself as a Pac-Man. You know that game, Pac-Man? He said, I think of myself as a Pac-Man. I can't go back. I can only go forward in huge bites. <laughs> and I thought, cool. Thank you, Mr. Tarantino. So that, I just keep that in mind. No doubt, man. You just keep going. You, and, and maybe you're not good enough now for this. But as long as you get better, just keep on going. That, that, that's all. So, you know, and learn. I'm not saying you, you can't learn. Uh, that's why I'm here, to learn how to pitch, you know. But there was never a time when someone just crushed you. Oh, yeah, all the time. Said, My parents, uh, <laughs> close friends. Oh, okay. I mean, everybody but crushes you. But you didn't listen. You didn't listen. Yes, I did. No, you did listen. To I and, and then that that was that was the tragedy. I listened to these stupid people. I remember a therapist once said, um, uh, "I was complaining about my father, and he, <laughs> first of all, he, he he the first thing he said was, God. I said, God, what? He said, the <laughs> shit that parents tell their kids is unbelievable. He said, every kid that comes in here, he said." They're fine. It's their parents that are fucking crazy. But I can't tell them that because they'll stop taking the kid here. So, you know, the best I can do is protect the kid. From who? From their parents. It's parents who fuck up kids. Kids don't fuck themselves up. You're born cool. You know, and then layers come on you. So, you know, I, I don't know. But you chose not to listen, obviously. For After a while, I learned because I tried to do it their way. I tried to do it my parents' way. I tried to do it my teacher's way. I tried to do it everybody else's way, and it never worked. So I thought, hey, let me try it my way. And I found out, A, I was a lot happier. And gradually, I became better and more affirmed. The world affirmed, you know, throw that one hand up and the universe slaps it. You know, but that, that takes a lot of learning. Yeah, it's not easy.